So, what is medical tourism? Simply speaking, it's pretty much just traveling and getting medical procedures on your trip. And so we are actually here in Busan, the number one city for medical tourism here in Korea, to take part in the Busan Medi Tour. So whether you are interested in traveling for a cosmetic procedure, dental work, eye exams, Busan has some of the top technology for it, top clinics for it. Um, so we're not only going to be letting Busan heal us as it does because of the ocean, and the mountains and the trees but we're actually going to be taking part in a lot of different clinics over the next three days so I'm going to take you along um, but I arrived this morning actually from Seoul and the first thing I did was go straight to a clinic for a full body checkup let's go Today is I'm going to get a 3d body scanner which is going to look at like the stress points in my body and what's going on and then after that I'm going to be getting an IV that is kind of like a cocktail based on how my body looks on the 3d scanner so if I'm extra stressed or if they see a lot of inflammation or something like that they're going to add different ingredients to the IV um, the only IV I've ever had are saline for when you're really dehydrated I had to get one and then one time when like my kidney failed <laughs> um, I had to get one but this one will be really interesting because it's supposed to focus on like immunity and answering specific body needs based on like stress and stuff so that is what we are doing today IVs or at least I never saw them unless you were like really really sick um, but here in Korea it's a very common treatment if you are dehydrated if you just need a pick-me-up super common to go into a clinic and get a little IV of vitamins basically um, so that's what this one is and yeah they gave me the energy treatment because I seem tired and stressed <laughs> so um, that's what I'm getting and I'm just gonna lay here for 30 minutes with a needle in my arm and it's gonna be great. She turned off the lights, so I'm gonna take a nap, and yeah, I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> lifted off into space I'm in this tiny oxygen capsule um, and it's just supposed to have increased oxygen in here um, so you are supposed to feel more energized it's supposed to be like a really healing kind of thing it felt a little bit like you were taking off very quickly um, on an airplane because it does actually change the pressure in like the cabin basically um, so I did have to like yawn and stuff I'm gonna sit in here for about 25 minutes just Focusing on my breathing. See you later in the lobby. There's thunder and lightning going on over here, but then you peel over here and the sun is out. 
This is not a time lapse, guys. Those clouds are moving that fast. guys so we were gonna go to a park today and then i woke up to like an intense honestly the most intense thunder i've ever dealt with um lots of rain it looks like it's clearing up though um but we were going to go to a park and then that park was closed because of the typhoon we were gonna go to another park but now i'm not sure um so we're really gonna wing it today before i go to my two appointments but um it's still gonna be fun busan is beautiful all the time like this was really incredible to watch so i'm glad that it happened but um yeah we're gonna play it by ear <laughs> let's go see pusan can you hear me over the rain so we are now at the yongungsa temple um and i thought it would be really beautiful in the rain anyway it's on a cliffside i'm sure you've seen it it's i've been to pusan so many times and I still haven't been and so I was in the area. I'm really excited. It looks like I have a place to myself, which is how I like it. Um, and yeah, we're going to deal with this rain and go to the cliff. Let's go. I can't believe the sun came out. I mean, the storm this morning was insane and it's so beautiful. So the cafe I was going to is closed, but there's another one that looks really amazing next door. So we'll try that one. <laughs> Hospital, which was the first general hospital ever built in Busan and it was built in 1922 and then it became like a Chinese restaurant for Japanese officials and then it became like the consulate for Taiwan this building has just been through a lot it is seeped in history and now it is a cafe which is really cool they kind of kept it in the same condition um, as you can see as it is so it's very kind of worn down really rusty really cool so we're gonna get a drink um, before I head to the dentist. This will be my last coffee I'm allowed to have for a day or two, so I'm gonna savor it. Let's go.
it's just very interesting to think of like how many different kinds of people definitely had tea in this building at some point, um, whether it was Korean doctors or Japanese officers or Taiwanese diplomats. Um, just a really cool building with lots of history and it's in a very cool area. It's relatively close to Busan Station. Um, but after this, and I did end up getting tea, I didn't get coffee. I'm trying to be good to my teeth relatively um, before I go to the dentist. But our dentist and our um, dermatologist that we're going to today are in the Somyeon area. And um, so we're gonna head over there. Gonna get a little bit of lunch before that. And um, yeah, it's been, a crazy day in Busan. Waking up to that storm was just, it threw me off. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna relax here a little bit and I'll see you later. It is gorgeous. It is hot, actually. It is like an overly nice day. So anyway, now we are heading to the dentist and I'm going to get a nice little teeth clean, maybe get some whitening done. And um, yeah, much needed. So I'm excited. <laughs> to walk to my next appointment. Um, this area of Samyeon is really, really popular. First of all, we're in Samyeon in Busan. Um, but this entire neighborhood is called Samyeon Medical Street. So there's something like 230 to 250 different medical clinics ranging from literally everything, dentists, typical Korean medicine. There are dermatologists, there are eye clinics, everything. So. Um, Everything is really right here. So we're gonna go to a dermatologist, get a little checkup, see what they have to say about me. And um, yeah, let's head over there.
like a ghost without makeup on but that's okay i bought a little journal i'm gonna actually try and journal <laughs> more than a week um that's my goal but i think this is where the day kind of ends i'm gonna grab dinner yeah i'm gonna head in now start another day going back to seoul tomorrow unfortunately but yeah saying goodbye to the beach view um, checking out now and I'm going to go to an eye clinic to get my eyes checked and this is actually really exciting because I heard that this hospital is insane and I used to have perfect eyesight and ever since I started being on my phone and stuff like that my eyes have gotten so much worse and I really want to fix that um, I went to a checkup once and they literally told me like your eyes are just dry use eye drops so um, this is apparently like really intensive checkup. Um, so I'm excited to see what they say. So yeah, we're gonna head into Busan city center and um, actually right back to Tomyeon Medical Street where we were yesterday for all of the stuff we did. Let's fix my eyes, guys. Let's fix them. <laughs> Is it good? Bad? I just said perfect. <laughs> oh really? Well, then why can't I see? <laughs> Okay, so 
so I just had lunch at Ordinary Flower Cafe and I've actually been here once before when it used to be in kind of a random area in Busan. Um, and I guess they have moved up. They were they were super popular. Their food is so good. Um, so now they moved over to an area called Junpo Cafe Gori. And it's also right near Seomyeon. It's actually near Junpo Station anyway. Um, and it's just this huge area filled with the best cafes. Busan's cafe scene is out of this world. That orange beet juice was worth it. If it stains my teeth, I don't care. I love beet juice. So anyway, now we're actually going to head to Kwangani Beach because it is gorgeous and I haven't put my feet in the ocean yet, which is a travesty. So we're going to do that. And then unfortunately we have to go home. So um, yeah, the eye exam, incredible. Turns out, hey, guess what? I have perfect vision, which I knew. Did you know that I have cataracts? Somehow they said they're not like the the growing kind or anything. So I have to kind of keep an eye on them, but like, what? I'm 28 and I have cataract. So anyway, really great to have an intensive eye exam. I feel like we go to the doctor when we're feeling sick, but oftentimes our eyes don't actually hurt. So we don't actually go get those checkups that we need. So this was really great. There's so much construction. I'll talk to you guys later. Let's head to the beach. <laughs> Okay, hey guys, we made it to the Kwangani area and first I'm going to walk on the beach for a little bit and then we're actually going to hit a couple little stores. There's a lot of really cool independent stores here as far as like accessories or home goods and stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. But first, my feet need to touch the ocean. Let's go find it. <laughs> They aren't open today. <laughs> okay, so last stop before I go home. Um, we're gonna head a little bit over closer to Busan Station and there is a area called Bosudong Book Alley. And it apparently is just a collection of lots of old used bookstores, I guess. It looks really cool. Um, not sure how much will be open today, but might as well stop by and see. And then we're honestly gonna head home, as sad as it is. Um, so yeah, I gotta focus on finding my way there.
advertising there. That was really a book alley. This is the Bosudong book alley that I mentioned before, and I ended up getting my picture taken at a little um, photo place. And the guy was so nice. So I'll leave his information on Instagram or something when I post this. But um, yeah, it's not that huge. If you don't speak Korean, there aren't a lot of books. But um, if you are interested, like standing next to me, if you're interested in buying like Harry Potter in Korean, you want to give it a go. There's lots of kids books. There's lots of art books, lots of like older books. This was just cute. It took me maybe like 10 minutes to do a little loop, but I enjoyed it. And it's very close to Busan Station, which is where we're going now because I have to go home, unfortunately. So I will see you guys there at the station and um, then I'll see you in Seoul. So man, this was just a really nice couple of days. Definitely good for the body and soul. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go figure out how to get back and see you there.